exhibition in the Barber Community. It's only going on for a few more weeks, so we're going to have a quick look around and yeah, let's have a look. You know, I pronounce in the French way because it's the way I do, you know, but uh, I think you understand me, I hope so. Anyway, if you don't understand me, you can understand me through my clothes, because that is the thing that I do the best, the clothes. I am not a good speaker, I am not at all a seductor. My seduction is through, through the clothes, through my clothes. I love that. You know, I wanted to make that job, that passion that I have, because I saw a movie when I was a child, at 12 years old. It was a movie of the 40s, I am not that old, I, am, I was not born in the 40s, but I saw it when I was 12. And I saw that movie called Falbala. It was about a couture. You can see it in that exhibition, a little part of that movie, which means Micheline Prey. And she was my muse. And I wanted to do like the couturier that was there, the designer. I wanted to do that on her after I have a lot of muse. Anna Pavlovsky, Farida Kelfa, Mini, Madonna, of course, a big, enormous muse, you know. She influenced me, they influenced me. And also a male muse, Daniel Pavedrosian, which is a boy, you know. And he has like that kind of fragility and strongness also that I love in men. I love that strongness also in women, you know. I think that after the women's sleep, where the women, you know, put out, threw out and put the fire on their, on their bra, you know, me, at the contrary, I put it back with a corset because I think that kind of femininity, when you are a strong woman, you can have what you want also, being beautiful and seductive for yourself, for the other, but you are not obliged to. That is the same. Ah, beautiful song. I love that. Do you recognize that song? No, it doesn't matter, it's beautiful. It's matched very well with my exhibition. Like on in those faces Where has love gone in our behavior? Where has the light gone in those faces? You will see that, I will do that first of all. From Kylie to Kurt Cobain, Gautier has crossed all different genres in entertainment and what's really influential about him is how he's referenced his muse, their individuality and their personality and used that to inspire his work. So from Kylie with the beadwork to Erin O'Connor with a little bit of quirk and using that English gentleman kind of look with the buttons and the pearly green to many other people he always puts their personality in his humour and jets the two together and that's what makes his work work really well. You can just see this now with Erin walking on the runway and how good she projects the Gautier image because she just looks comfortable in it and he allows herself to bring out her inner diva as she has been quoted in the exhibition as well as if you look at covers of Kirk Bain or Kylie or Naomi Campbell, they all channel the Gautier inside them. So this has got to be my favourite room with loads of Madonna stuff, so if you're a fan, enjoy this. From seeing these Polaroid clips of what really happened backstage is exciting. I was so excited to see the Gautier bust as you saw, but it's not in real, it's actually an image. I believe actually, from reference, Madonna actually owns that. You can see sketches of his illustrations and design work and old clips in the actual exhibition, down to the famous clothing that is wore there on the actual mannequins. From working with artists like Madonna to appearing on many films for costume as well as working on TV with shows like Spitting Image and Neuro Trash, he's made himself a household name which everybody loves him so much for. really inspired by a lot of what we're seeing at the moment in the Gautier exhibition and I hope you are too. The corset is what Gautier is famous for, that's why he has got the perfume bottle, signature Madonna mm -hmm. wearing it and what's even interesting now is how he's had men, women in it. It's not just been one stereotype view of gay, straight, woman, man. You're still the first to be loaded with a thing. 
don't speak, but it's all right. I am speaking. That's all I can do. I am speaking all along the privacy of this big world. <sighs> speaking to no one. There's no one here, right? I can say whatever I want. Nobody's listening. Nobody's looking at me. The little bear that you just saw a moment ago was a beautiful story about Goethe who talks about being inspired and making his first corset off at a little boy. The interaction between the mannequins as well with these talking mannequin sounds, mirrors reflecting, it makes the viewer and the mannequin act as one and it feels like you're almost in a walking fashion show. And what I mean by that is that he's actually managed to capture that energy, that excitement when you are in a fashion show in an exhibition which is very exciting considering Gautier is somebody who considers museums are for the dead and he was quite shocked he was showing his retrospective why he's still alive and he's kept that energy of himself and that essence and you go there and you're excited just look at this dress at the moment you've got the crystal Renwood Award on the runway and the other dresses just next to how he's managed to show the size equation of a different model and they've just not been standard mannequins, it's all been thought out really well. Jean-Paul Gaultier, the fashion world of Jean-Paul Gaultier from Sidewalk to Capital at Barbican, is running up until the 25th of August, so I would definitely recommend you seeing it. I've only shown you some highlights at the moment because I don't want to give too much away, but what I will do is leave you on this little humorous note, and remember my lovelies, stay quirky, if you like, then Press like and hit the blogs and subscribe. Hey, so I just went to the Gote exhibition. I'm leaving now. It was literally one of the actual best exhibitions I've been to since uh, the Barbican have done the Victor Roth collection. And that was sensational. This one was equally as good. It just was so good because it talked about sexuality, it talked about gender stereotypes, racism, among loads of other things. It does say on the actual tour guide that 12, under 12 to 3 if you want to go for admittance, but I personally wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't take my niece there, for example. I think it's a lot of nudity, it's a lot of sexualisation, and it's going to cause some confusing questions. But hope you have a video.